Stand by for a start. Set. Racing, and that's a great line away as well. Checkers jumped away quickly. Vane Striker Paradini from the inside were swiftly away. Driving forward now on the outside is Full Zip. Explosive Queen is being used for speed, but trapped pretty wide in the early stages from Tycoon Legend. Over on the outside then is Big Red Costa as they get going. They're being followed by On the Terps, who's checking in off heels there soon after the start. Back with Sally's Realm three deep. They're joined on the inside by Red Noir and settling back last of all Zafiro by the 850 full zip leads the way narrowly from explosive queen who was able to quickly go up and accelerate getting into second spot vein striker third down on the inside posied up in the box seat inside of checkers big red cost are working around them three wide but they're not going overly hard over on the inside strung up Paradini Sally's realm handy to the pace for Pike coming onto the bend outside tycoon legend Harvey was able to bring on the Terps to the extreme outside here in a Punching field coming onto the home corner. And they're being followed by Red Noir and back last Zaviro. At the top of the home straight, full zip at the 300. A length and a half on Big Red Costa. Vane Striker back near the inside, running around. Sally's Realm chimes in. So does on the Terps. And Checkers gets a late split as well at the 100 mark. And wider out, Sally's Realm and Checkers have come together. Pike lifting Sally's Realm now. And there's his fourth. Sally's Realm won from a very close go between second and third placings. Vane Striker driving through on the Terps wide out check of the middle of those Tycoon Legend close up Paradini not far away from Red Noir then full zip Big Red Costa Explosive Queen and Zafiro always back near the rear number 10 Sally's Realm punters on the money here 380 into 250 that was what she'll pay as well there on tote Sally's Realm the more than ready filly Drew Whitey went back there three deep but he certainly had it close enough to them and it's been just one of those days where off the speed and running on has been a real advantage. Number 10 with Pike in the zone, having booted home his fourth on this seven race card. Tight goes second and third. That's Vane Striker on the Terps. Checkers between those will probably miss out on uh, one of the primary placings in 126.15. The winner for Peter's Investments is a more than ready Sally's World Philly. Her second victory in five runs. Trained by Grant and Alana Williams and written by W. Pike. Number five gets second in the photo, Vane Stryker. Authorised mayor from Violet Vane. Trained by Stephanie Bakranich and written by Sean O'Donnell. And third, number two on the Terps, the Dick Turpin Secret Empire Gelding. Trained by David Harrison and uh, written by Paul Harvey. Fourth one, Checkers. 10-5-2-1, Tycoon Legend fifth, three quarters a nose, a long head. 126, 18, 35, 41, the closing sectional. 251, 46, 91, 60 are the totes there after the Glenroy Chaff. Race 8 at 5.15, and uh, Kate Whitten rides 13, looking on in the last event of the day. OK, let's uh, head down now, and uh, Gareth uh, joins us, and with him is co-trainer Puffer Williams after the victory. It's been Pike's day, that's for sure, and he's ridden the conditions and the tempo of the day to absolute perfection, as is always to be the case, Gareth. Always great to catch up as well, Darren, with uh, Grant Williams. And Grant, that was a really good performance. I guess she put the riding on the wall in a pretty hot three-year-old race, I thought, last start at Midweek Company. Yeah, it was a, it was a good uh, first-up effort, and um, it's good to see that she's improved from that run, and, you know, that was a good, strong win today. Were you confident going into this race? She was heavily supported. The punters jumped on. Oh, we were confident. Hope, you know, she'd taken good benefit out of that first run, but they're still going to come here and do it. And... Um, yeah, three deep with cover, and she just, yeah, I like the way she hit the line um, going forward to those fillies races. You've got a couple of handy three-year-old fillies in the backyard. Where does she rate amongst them? Yeah, I think she's there. I think um, I think Willie will be thinking pretty seriously about this one. Um, I'd say it's either her or Showcase, but, it, yeah, the three fillies that we've got, and then American Joy, she'll get over the trip, so... I reckon he'd nearly be right on this one. Simon Miller gives me nothing when I ask him who his best two-year-old is. Who's your best three-year-old filly? Or just do a Simon. <laughs> I thought you were a better bloke, Puffer. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, we, we've got a very even bunch. Um, you know, those ones I've just said, um, probably going forward, you know, you'd, you'd think on that performance, you know, she's there and showcase she's been doing nothing wrong the last couple of starts. And, um, yeah, special alert. Well, her form was really good in the summer, so 
Yeah, I'm not really helping, am I? What's the process there, say, with Willie, who has the pick of those rides? Does he talk to you and Alana, or is it Bob's decision which one Willie rides? No, it's Willie's decision. Um, yeah, no, he'll come and ride them gallops, and I reckon he'll be trying to test a couple of them in the next couple of weeks because he doesn't want to get his um, decision wrong. But, no, it's all Willie's decision. People think it's easy being Willie Pike, but I guess the, the toughest part is choosing which one to ride. Yeah, it's only easy if he gets it right. It's not very really easy if he gets it wrong. Thanks, Grant. Thank you, mate. There's Willie Pike um, jumping back onto that scales after winning another race. Brittany, and he might uh, might be a question we can ask Willie, which which three-year-old filly is at the top of his list at the moment? We will <laughs> ask Willie that. Grant was just saying about how you always have the, the pick of the crop when it comes to these three-year-old fillies. How do you compare Sally's round with the likes of a showcase? Um, I'd say she probably lacks the brilliance of showcase, but uh, she's definitely more a workman-type horse. She'll give you 110% every time, regardless of whether she had a soft run or a hard run. You know she's in for the fight. So what she lacks in brilliance, she'll make up for in guts. That three-wide line is successful for you again today? Yeah, <laughs> I'd like to say it's intentional, but no. Um, look, I think these, these races today are quite muddling. Um, and yeah, if you can just get in that flowing line, I think it gives you a couple of lengths. And she gave you a lovely feel today? She did. She did a very good job. Um, if it wasn't for me fumbling around with my reins, I would have been able to look pretty for the photo. Well, we'll have to look at that winning photo later. Congratulations.